going to demonstrate how to install your collapsible car stock onto the Tipman X7. You're first going to want to start off by checking the gun, making sure that it's uncocked. This is the cock position, pull the trigger, make sure it's uncocked. From there, there's no tools really needed for the disassembly or reassembly and putting on the car stock. You're just going to want to remove your push pins by hand. Sometimes they might be a little tight and that's okay. Um, you can use a pair of pliers. I've even seen people tap them out with a hammer and that's, that's okay. You just pull those out. These are pretty easy to get out. And then from there you saw how the end cap kind of pushed out. Um, it's a little, it's under some spring tension back there. That's why we wanted to make sure that your gun was uncocked. Um, you can see how the spring and the pin comes out. Kind of put your end cap off to the side there. So right now you have your spring and your guide pin. You want to make sure that those stay together throughout the whole assembly. From there, you have your stock. This is the part where you want to make sure your drive spring is inserted into your rear bolt plug. You can see the hole in the center. You want to make sure that that drive spring is getting inserted into the hole. You'll also see that on the front of the stock, there's also a hole. You're going to want to make sure that your guide pin is inserted into the hole on the front of the stock. Then from there, slide your stock in. Make sure it's all the way in there. And then you have your two push pins. You'll see that there's a difference between the two push pins. One is actually a little bit shorter than the other. The shorter push pin is the one that goes in the top. And then the longer push pin is the one that goes in the bottom. You also see that I have some shims off to the side here. Um, these are just in case like you have a small gap in between the receiver of the gun and the stock. You can see in this assembly that we don't need those shims. Uh, it's a pretty tight fit for the most part. Once you have your stock installed, you're going to want to check to make sure that your spring and your guide pin are aligned properly. Easy way to do this is to cock the gun and just dry fire it. And as you can see, that's put in there correctly. The stocks as far as the installation goes is the same ex with the exception of the air through stock that's a little bit more technical um, other than that this pretty much completes the installation of your X7 stock mm -hmm.